So, yeah. just a moment, but... All right, there you are, sir. Hi, John. Hi, Mr. President. I want to give you a quick report, and if, then I'll later give it to Jack in detail if, uh, Good. if you want. Good. George Wallace, last night, released his delegation from their commitment to him. He will not, probably not attend the convention at all. A man named Jess Lanier of Bessemer, Alabama, will attend. He says, of course, you're not on the ticket over there, that the backlash is unbelievable, uh, that substantially no one's for you, that he's going to support, he's not going to support Goldwater. I didn't, didn't categorically say that, but indicated it. Said he was going to support all the congressmen over there, although they didn't support him. Uh, and then he went on and... Uh, now, who is this? This is George Wallace. Oh, George Wallace, yeah. yeah. Alabama. But Lanier, Lanier is going to speak for him? Uh, Jeff Lanier will be chairman of the delegation. Mm -hmm. Now, he says that the, probably the Alabama delegation is going to the convention to raise hell. Uh, he, doesn't, uh, he doesn't think they ought to be kicked out, and, but he particularly thinks we're in trouble over there and going to be in trouble. Doesn't know if there's anything we can do about it, uh, except to quiet the talk as fast as possible. He said he would like to support the Democrats. He, doesn't intend to support the Republicans, uh, but he's going to spend his time working for the Democratic congressman in his state. He said uh, there will be unshirted hell if uh, under this bill the funds are cut off under any federal programs in the state. It's about the net of it. No, uh, no vice presidential uh, problems there. Uh, problems we'll have will be uh, both presidential and vice presidential. Mm -hmm. uh, but nobody's working on the vice presidential candidates. It's got mm -hmm. no problem. Jack Campbell, New Mexico, they're, they're, he's in charge of their delegation. They're just waiting to, for you to indicate uh, who you want for vice president. They don't have any problems with the delegation. They think they got some trouble in the state, but they're not too worried about it. They are worried about the civil rights backlash, but they don't know how deep. Uh, Jack doesn't know how deep it's going to be. John McKithen of Louisiana says, rough, rough, rough. He said Northern Louisiana, in his opinion, will go 80% for Goldwater. Northern Louisiana. He says that he talked to some of the senators from two parishes in South Louisiana last night, and they indicate that you can't carry South Louisiana. Uh, they think New Orleans, as of today, would go to Goldwater by a substantial margin. If you can't carry New Orleans in South Louisiana, where they have a heavy Catholic population, that you can't, there's no way you can carry Louisiana. John McKithen's so worried about it, he's very doubtful now that he would even go to the convention. Uh, if he doesn't, Marshall Brown, the national committeeman, will go. He's talked to Orville Faubus. Faubus says that things are extremely rough in Arkansas. I couldn't get Orville. He's out of pocket. Uh, he just says of today that uh, you, you can't carry uh, Louisiana. Uh, he said last night he had a meeting with a bunch of unions in there. Uh, upper state, uh, upper part of the state, Louisiana. They're not uh, AFL-CIO. Most of them are independent unions. He met with them. They supported him against uh, the Shreveport oil man. And uh, he was working out some patronage problems with them. He said that those uh, laboring people, he just uh, said there were about a dozen of them, that uh, they were opposed to you to a man. I'm reading you some notes. Uh, delegation is split. They're all types. They range from liberals to uh, segregationists. Uh, although there's basically no problem. They've got control of it uh, if things go well. He says if Mississippi and Alabama are not seated uh, in the convention, that he doesn't know what will happen. He just thinks we'd have uncharted hell. Uh, he says he wants to be for the Democrats, and he is not going to support Goldwater. But uh, if... Uh, Vice presidential thing turns out where he can't he can't support to, to take it. Why he's just gonna go to sleep? He said and take a nap. Or he's not gonna do anything. He is violently opposed to Bobby Kennedy and almost equally opposed to Hubert Humphrey. He says the situation is extremely serious for Louisiana. Now, who's he for? Well, he's for you. No, I mean uh, uh, for vice president. He just uh, almost anybody. He just says anybody that won't hurt us. He said Humphrey and Kennedy both would hurt. He said it don't make a difference who it is, just so that it's not somebody that rave a wet flag. He said I don't have a candidate. Couldn't care less. 
John Dalton of Missouri is going to be chairman of the delegation. The delegation is mildly conservative. He says you definitely do not need a Catholic. And he said if we ever get this idea that you've got to have a, uh, an ethnic group or religious group on the ticket, uh, he thinks it's a great disservice. He felt pretty strongly about it. He said Bobby would wreck us. He said Pat Brown's a thug. Uh, couldn't go with him. He said he'd take Humphrey over McCarthy. But uh, they'll be for you and for whoever you want for vice president. He said Miller's not going to cause you any trouble, whatever. <laughs> the fact that he's a Catholic. He said Miller's a low-grade individual and a low-grade Catholic. He said there's very little backlash on civil rights in Missouri. He said you're in excellent shape in Missouri. The mayor of St. Louis told me uh, that he had been mayor many years and he'd been in politics all of his life and he's 67 years old. And he had never seen people as likely to go wild as now, and that there's absolutely no way you could anticipate them. And this thing could just uh, could uh, backfire so quick you don't know what to do. He said that they just they, uh, everybody's got something that they've been against through the years, and they're quite frustrated. And everybody from a woman having changed life on down to somebody that's afraid a nigger is going to move next to him, or somebody that's afraid a nigger is not. Yeah. And he just says that. Uh, he's surprised with everybody getting jobs and doing well and as fine as they are, but that is it, and don't underestimate it, and said that he who does, does so at his own peril. Uh, that's exactly my judgment. Uh, uh, this John Dalton gave me the only good report. He said the local Democratic ticket in, in Missouri is not in good shape, and, uh, and it's not a good ticket necessarily. Uh, he says that, uh, as it now stands, you can carry the local ticket through, but the local ticket isn't going to help you a damn bit. Well, uh, Long tells me that he thinks we'd come out there and stay and work on a dam and promise some things. Can help. He told me that yesterday at lunch, Sunday Long, but he says the signs has got the worst opposition he's had. He'll make it, but uh, said the governor, they may elect a, a Republican governor. Well, that's about what, uh, uh, that's about what, uh, uh, John Dalton says. Now, John Dalton says if you get somebody like uh, uh, Bobby Kennedy on this ticket, but frankly, you beat the whole local ticket. And he's talking about governor, senator, and the works. He said, I don't think it would mean the president would lose Missouri, but he said, I think you beat everybody on the local ticket. And he said, you will have to carry the local ticket because it's basically weak. He said, if McNamara were the vice president, you'd call some grumbling among the old party uh, hacks. He used them. He used that expression but they'd fall in line. But so that wouldn't be their first choice among the party profession. Don Russell of South Carolina says, we're gonna have a hell of a time in South Carolina. That he's, uh, he's for the ticket, he's for you, and he's gonna support you. But he said, please, 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 anybody but Kennedy or Humphrey. He's gonna head the delegation. Strom Thurmond's already backing out, now says he can't go. Now, incidentally, all of this is in confidence, although I think they all understood I was going to tell you. Mm -hmm. But they called some names that they didn't, uh, mm -hmm. I'm sure, want you to mm -hmm. uh, pass on. No, I won't. He said many of his delegation are getting weak knees. Uh, Strom Thurmond's already found some excuse now why he can't go. And he says that he thinks very definitely that the South, Southeast, needs of whatever bomb and whatever si salve now you can give them. Uh, he said, those of us who stood against Wallace, and Don Russell did, he said, we did it and took a hell of a lot of heat and a hell of a lot of pressure. He said, as far as I'm concerned, I'm damn glad he's out. He said, I'd prefer to have him out, even though some people might think it's going to help Goldwater or something. But he said, if Bob Kennedy's on the ticket, heaven and hell couldn't save South Carolina. Mm -hmm. He said he thought he saw some Bob Kennedy activity because Fritz Hollins tried like hell to get on the delegation. He couldn't get elected either at large or from his district. He's not on it. And a district attorney who was appointed down there wanted his wife to be a delegate. This district attorney was forced down the two senators' throats by Bobby Kennedy. Uh, but uh, they, they began to smell a rat, so she's not on the delegate list. And the, incidentally, the DA had just come from Washington uh, at the time he made this move to get his wife on the delegation. But neither Fritz nor uh, the DA are on there. Uh, he said Hubert Humphrey. Uh, is not much ahead of Bobby's as far as their choice is concerned. 
uh, all of it on account of civil rights. He said that if Alabama and Mississippi are not seated, it would cause serious problems and be extremely embarrassing for them, and they don't know what would happen. Uh, he said he, he could go for Dick Hughes or Jackson or Symington or damn near anybody. He said, I believe what Roosevelt once said, that, that uh, you never get a vice president that will help you. All you want is one that won't hurt you. And he said, you got to get the president, got to get the votes himself. So the best thing he can do is get somebody that ain't going to hurt him. He don't make a damn whether he helps him or not. But not going to help him much anyway, regardless of who it is. He said, uh, brought this up, he said he doesn't think that any Catholic uh, was needed on the ticket. And he said almost identically what John Dalton did. He said that if we get the idea across broad in the country that you've got to appeal to this ethnic group or that religious group to, to make up a ticket to run for president or vice president, we do a great disservice to the country. Don Russell. Ferris Bryant says things are <clears throat> in much better shape uh, down there. The, the suit's out of the way. He said very frankly and confidentially that the congressmen and the senators are very reluctant now to be identified with the Democratic Party. Uh, the chairman of the uh, delegation, for instance, won't go to the convention and won't serve on any of the committees. They won't put some of the congressmen on these committees. And uh, they don't want to serve. They all find excuses. He says we're in real trouble. Uh, he said he thinks you can carry Dade in, in Broward County. That's Miami and, and St. Augustine. Uh, one other big town. St. Petersburg, I believe. <laughs> but he said Goldwater's going to carry the rest of the state. Uh, the other day, 45 senators met state senators, and only three of the 45 would now say they're going to be for you. He said it's not that bad, but it's an indication that only three of them would speak up and say they're going to get out and actively support you. He said he's going to support you, he has supported you, and he said that his successor, the nominee for governor, uh, has said that he's running for that he's running for governor and he's running his own business. He has nothing in common with the national ticket. And he's not running for president. He's running for governor. He said that's about all he can do. If he says any more, he's going to get the hell beat out of him. Humphrey says would hurt. Bobby would be disastrous. Uh, he says that he's going to lead the delegation. He's going to be helpful, wants to be helpful. If Alabama and Mississippi are not seated, uh, uh, he says that he don't want to tell that. So it would be ex extremely embarrassing. Albertus Harrison is going to head, uh, Virginia is going to head the delegation. He says, of course, that everything is civil rights. Uh, in the area he comes from, the southeast of uh, Virginia, he said the 70% ne Negroes in school age, 30% white. He said it's, it's going to be a very, very serious problem. He doesn't know at this moment what's going to happen. He says it's a little too early to tell. He's going to support the ticket, ticket uh, has done so, is going to try to do everything he knows how to do. Uh, he thinks that uh, we've got to have a little time, but the more we play down this civil rights thing, he says, you've got to stop these riots. He doesn't say you. He said, we, we've got to stop the riots and the disorders. He said, if they continue, uh, God only knows what's going to happen. He said, there's not any, any way we, we can hold this thing. He said, Bobby Kennedy on the ticket would be disastrous. He said, you can just forget the thing. By an overwhelming margin. Now, those are the only ones I've been able to get. Uh, Carl Sanders is in New York. Paul is out campaigning. Frank Clements is out campaigning. Uh, Paul Johnson I couldn't get. And that's about the rundown. Well, I think that's a accurate report. Now, it doesn't change anything uh, uh, that uh, I thought. Uh, no, I don't think so. I felt that way, and I, I think it's going to get worse before it gets any better. I, uh, I think that uh, the craft poll in Alabama uh, shows how deep the field there, and uh, that's kind of a weather vane of what ultimately spreads uh, yeah. on this kind of an issue. Now, I don't know how anybody can stop uh, what they're doing on the Freedom Party. I think it's very bad, and I wish that I could stop it. I tried, but I haven't been able to, and I've had O'Donnell try, and he hadn't been able to. It may very well be that Bobby has started it. Uh, I, 
thought last night I couldn't sleep about 2.30, I waked up, and I tried to figure what I would do if I were a candidate for vice president, and I, I was going to be confronted with what he's going to be confronted with.